Exploring Mean Reversion Trading Strategies and Practical Examples Mean Reversion Trading, a quantitative approach to investing, operates on the principle that the price of an asset will revert to its average or mean price over time. The concept is grounded in the assumption that a stock's price fluctuations are temporary and over time it will return to a long-term equilibrium. This video will explore the concept of mean reversion trading, its assumptions, strategies, benefits, and limitations, illustrated by practical examples. Understanding Mean Reversion the concept of mean reversion stems from the belief that while the prices of securities can experience large fluctuations, they tend to return to their historical mean. This mean can be calculated over various periods, such as a 50-day or 200-day moving average. Essentially, traders assume that if a stock price deviates significantly from its mean, it's likely to revert to the mean at some point. Hence, if a stock's price falls below its historical average, a mean reversion trader might consider it undervalued and purchase the asset with the expectation that it will increase. Conversely, if a stock's price rises above its mean, the trader might deem it overvalued and sell or short sell the asset. Assumptions in Mean Reversion Trading The primary assumption of mean reversion trading is that an asset's price will always tend to return to its mean over a given time frame. This is typically associated with the fundamental value of an asset, which may not be reflected in the current market price due to various short-term influences. The mean price is often viewed as the fair value of the asset. However, this assumption does not always hold true. There are situations where an asset's price may not revert to its mean, such as a structural change in a company or industry, or a major economic event. Therefore, mean reversion trading, while statistically sound, requires careful consideration and management of risk. Mean Reversion Trading Strategies There are numerous strategies employed in mean reversion trading, but the most common involve identifying overbought or oversold conditions. These are situations where an asset's price is moved significantly from its mean. Simple Moving Average SMA. Traders often use the SMA to identify the mean. If an asset's price falls below the SMA, it could indicate an oversold condition, and if it rises above, an overbought condition. Bollinger Bands This tool involves a SMA, along with two standard deviation lines, above and below the mean, that form a band around the asset's price movements. When the price reaches or crosses these bands, it may indicate an overbought or oversold condition. Relative Strength Index, RSI RSI is a momentum indicator that measures the speed and change of price movements. Values of 70 or above suggest an asset is overbought, while values of 30 or less indicate it is oversold. Pairs trading Pairs trading involves identifying two assets that historically move together. If they diverge significantly, a trader may buy the underperforming asset and sell the overperforming one, expecting both to revert to their mean. Practical examples. Let's consider an example. Suppose a stock has a 200-day SMA of $50, but the stock's price has fallen to $40 due to a short-term negative event. A mean reversion trader might purchase the stock, expecting it to return to its mean. In another example, a trader might use Bollinger Bands and notice that a particular stock has exceeded its upper band. The trader could interpret this as an overbought condition and short-sell the stock, anticipating the stock's price will revert to its mean. In pairs trading, let's assume we have two stocks, A and B, which historically have a high correlation. However, due to a short-term event, stock A's price significantly outperforms stock B. A mean reversion trader might short stock A, expecting its price to decrease, and go long on stock B, expecting its price to increase, assuming that the relationship between the two will revert to its historical norm. Advantages of mean reversion trading High Probability Trades Mean reversion strategies, when implemented correctly, can offer high probability trades as they are grounded in statistical evidence. Assets frequently return to their mean over time, providing traders numerous opportunities to profit. Easy to understand The concepts behind mean reversion trading are relatively straightforward. Traders only need to identify the mean and then monitor for significant deviations. Suitable for various assets
Mean reversion trading can be applied to a variety of assets, including stocks, commodities, forex, and cryptocurrencies. Disadvantages of mean reversion trading Risk of sustained trends While prices often revert to the mean, they can also deviate from the mean for extended periods due to macroeconomic factors or changes in the underlying fundamentals of the asset. This can lead to sustained trends that result in losses for mean reversion traders. Late Entry and Exit Mean reversion strategies often require a wait for confirmation that the price is reverting, which could lead to late entries and exits, reducing potential profits. Requires constant monitoring. This strategy requires constant monitoring of the markets, which can be time consuming. Mean reversion trading can be a useful strategy for traders who understand its principles, benefits, and potential risks. While mean reversion strategies can offer high probability trades, they also require rigorous analysis and careful risk management. As with any trading strategy, it's crucial to conduct thorough research use appropriate risk management techniques, and consider consulting with a financial advisor.